Part 13, Probability. You will find this on page 283 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Example 17. A bag contains black, blue and red counters. The probability of drawing a blue counter is 2 out of 5. If Alan draws a counter from this bag, what is the probability that it's not blue? Now remember the bag contains the full amount, which is represented by a certainty, which is 1. So a certainty. Okay. So basically, if I look at this and I'm going to ask you the probability not blue, I can just take that certainty and I subtract the blue amount. And, and I always remember it like this. As soon as I do this, and I don't want to use a calculator, and just to make note, I just say 5 over 5, just make that one a fraction. So if this denominator is 5, I can say 5 over 5. If this is 4, I can say 4 over 4. Okay, and then it's easy to see that it's going to be 3 over 5, my answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 17 number 1, A, B, C, as well as D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Try now 17. Number 1A. A bag contains a set of snooker balls, 15 red and one each of white, yellow, green, brown, blue, pink and black. What is the probability that one ball removed at random is red? So the probability of red and how many red ones are there? 15. Okay, now I must find the total. Now, how many? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 colors. So basically, it's that 15 plus this other 7. So in total, there's 22. So it will be 15 over 22. Now, not red. So the probability of not red And that will be a certainty, the full bag, minus that 15 over 22. Now, if you don't want to use a calculator, just do it like this. Because this denominator is 22, 22 over 22 will be 1. And that will give me an answer of 7 over 22. Okay, and now the next one, the probability of black. Now, what is the probability of black? Uh, there was just one, just one. So it will just be one out of 22. And then the last one, the probability of not black. Again, the full bag, which is one, minus, minus that one over 22. Again, it's 22 over 22 minus that one over 22. And that will give me 21 over 22. Okay, let's look at the final part. Using probability to find the expected number of successes. Example 18. In a television audience, if one person is picked at random, the probability that it's a man is 3 out of 5. There are 360 people in the audience. How many are likely to be men? So basically, just take the probability and just multiply it with the total amount of people. And that will give me 260 men. I want you to do try now 18, only number 1. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Let's do the final one. Try now 18. And this is number 1. The probability that it will rain in Windhoek on any given day in October is 3 out of 7. How many rainy days can you expect if you go to Windhoek for 21 days in October? So basically, we're just going to say we take that probability, 3 out of 7. We multiply it with the amount of days you spend, and it's 9. So therefore, 9 rainy days. You can expect nine rainy days.